TV. This is Dream Your Humble Host. How's everybody doing today? So what we are what we are planning on doing today is well right now is this is going to be my no mercy prediction. So here we have it. <clears throat> on the kickoff show, we are gonna have Elias versus Apollo Cruz. Now I know I, I know that Elias, you know Elias is uh, or not Elias Apollo Cruz is you know underused as he may be, and because of that, I think uh, Elias is going to end up winning this match. Um, I don't see how it could go Apollo's way. Um, kind of WWE just he's an afterthought, um, so. The next match is going to, and I think it'll probably be the opener, would be the uh, Enzo Amore versus Neville. And, uh, of course, I do believe Neville will end up taking this title, or, you know, retaining his title. Um, at this point, I don't think Amore and WWE is set up to win anything. Um, he gets brutalized and victimized every time he turns around. Um... I just don't see how WWE will give him any shot for anything. Um, I think maybe Enzo's best move would probably be go back to NXT um, and work. I mean, he's got great mic skills, but he needs to work on his in-ring ability. So I see Neville winning this match hands down easily. No problem. Then you got Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt, the unnecessary match, man versus man, um, no demon, but whatever. Um, I I think Finn will win this um, match, and then I think this storyline will come to an end after this pay per view because I think uh, either Bray or Finn will be involved with uh, Roman Reigns. Uh, maybe a returning Samoa Joe. Um, then after that, we will have the Intercontinental title. Um, this will be a match between The Miz and Jason Jordan. Um, I know they're high on Jason Jordan. Um, so... I think at this point, maybe Jason Jordan will uh, actually take the title from Miz. That's my prediction. After that, we have the Tag Team Championship, Dean Ambrose versus and Seth Rollins versus uh, Shamaro. I believe uh, at this point, uh, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins will retain their titles. Um, I think they're going to lose them later, not right now. Then you have uh, Alexa Bliss, Sasha Banks, Nia Jax, Emma, and Bailey all in a mess of a match, a five-way, fa fatal five-way match. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe Bailey takes it. Bailey gets the title. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking Bailey's gonna get the title. Then you have John Cena versus Roman Reigns. Um, I think Roman Reigns will win this match just because John Cena needs to be written off the the uh, the uh, uh, program for a while while he does. So yeah, I think Roman Reigns is going to take the title from John or take the uh, win from John Cena because he needs to be written off television. Um. Then we come to the main event, um, the Universal Championship, Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman. In a buildup of epic proportions, I think Braun Strowman comes up short. I don't think that they're going to take the title off of Brock until WrestleMania when Roman does it, because that's the way Vince, he has this thing with Roman, he loves Roman. So and he wants Roman to be the one to unthrow to dethrone the the monster the beast though. So uh, I think in the end I think uh, I think Braun's gonna end up coming up short and be in a feud with uh, John Cena. No, I think at some point he's gonna be in a feud with John Cena. Um, I think that that setup was perfectly clear 
whether it's I, I don't think it's going to be right away because I know he wants to go back to SmackDown and win the title back. So I think that's that's what he's going to do when he comes back from his movie. But that was the uh, my predictions for the No Mercy pay per view coming up tomorrow. So thanks everybody for joining me today. Um, just remember, uh, be nice to each other and uh, dream on, dream out.